Let's take conditional formatting even further. So we've already conditional formatted this first pretest column, and now we have added a post test. So we want to add these same colors to this column over here for post test. So let's go ahead and select column D first so we can get back into our conditional formatting. Here's the rule that we first set. Notice it was applied to just the range D1 to D2001. So we're going to take out this last part and we're going to do D colon and E. So now we're saying we want to apply this to column D and E. Let's click done. And now you can see what's happened is it is also applied that same rule to this column. So that's a great way to continually add your same conditional formatting to additional tests as you add them. I'm going to undo this and show you another option. So now we're back to where we started and this time in the post test we want to actually highlight this cell if the student did better than they did on their pretest. So we're going to highlight column E, go to format, conditional formatting. We need to change the apply to range because E1 is actually part of the header. So we only want to apply this to E2 down the rest of the column. So we're going to choose the format cells if and we're going to choose custom formula. Remember every formula starts with an equal sign and we want to know is E2 greater than D2? And if it is, turn it green. So you can remember change this color to a different color. Maybe we want to go to yellow so it's a little bit contrasted from the other colors that you chose. And now we're going to click done. So now you can see it is highlighted in yellow any student who scored better on their post test than they did on the pretest. So notice if I change this student's score to a 74, that cell now goes back to white because that student did not increase their score and do better. So this is another great way to use conditional formatting so that you can visually see your data better.